so if you have up um, topic level five or both you can earn a scholarship or if your english track record level is pretty high then it is very possible for you to transfer to um song kyung one university in seoul which is one of the top universities within korea right now so the transfer track or portal for students looking forward to transfer their university and go study nice right now is open for example if you're a student in korea and a student university where you're currently studying is giving you problems you can transfer to this university hello welcome back to my youtube channel this is your boy dr rogers a research professor in korea and also a multiple scholarship winner so today we are going to be looking at the transfer portal for spring undergraduates at song kyung um one university pardon my pronunciation of the word of the university so right now they've opened their portal to accept students who are looking forward to you know transfer to come study in this university so if you're from abroad and you're looking forward to come study in korea through a transfer by transfer meaning you started your university program already in your university and you're looking forward to move to this university and complete your studies right now this is the moment it's going to run from november 7 right up to november 18 and first you need to apply online online application is very important and once you close your application make you cannot modify anything so be very careful when you're applying then you have to you know um go to the official website and you open that up you have guides both in korean english and also chinese because a higher number of students are chinese so if you go there you're going to click on undergraduate it will show you second and third year transfer admission guide so you can only transfer during your second year or your third year if um the program you're doing in your university in korea or other universities abroad you know for reasons which are best suitable for you and also for song young university so this is a moment and sorry about that you have to check the program and go through the application guide first it's very important you cross check to see if the program is being offered in korean or is offered in english if the program is offered in korean and you have a topic level above five you're going to benefit from the scholarship but if your topic level is below three then I'm, I'm a little bit scared you might not even be admitted for the program so you're going to see those programs for example biological sciences which are circled in, in in two circles that's to tell you they are offered in korean for the third year and the second year so there is no english track both for third year and for track medical engineer for example you have both english and also the korean track and this goes the same for all no all programs in korea when you're applying to any program always check it's very important you check to see if the program is offered in korean or is offered in english i've heard of cases whereby people have gone to apply for programs which are offered only in korean and they go through the hill of applying for application and at the end of the day they finalize in korean and they start just being so sad or you know saying that they don't feel good about it so it's good to check you know that's very important and you can go through the documents that are required an application form a statement of academic purpose is also required you also need um a letter of consent that you need to either from a graduate school where you're expected to graduate or you're going to graduate and they have to explain why you need a transfer sometimes too you might find a very important course in this university but you're from another university you can also transfer and apply for it here so you also need a letter of consent it's very important a certificate of family relationship notarized within um, six months so if you love this video make sure you do click subscribe and stay tuned so we're going to continue also there is a graduate program at this university 
the graduate application program um, already passed as I'm talking to you, but I'm sure they're going to reopen it again. So for the graduate program for the spring first year, the deadline online online application ended from October 7. So for those that already applied, you have to be waiting for your interview, which will be coming up on October 22nd, uh, subject to change. So they can change it. You also need to be checking that all the time. They might call you up for interview, sometimes usually done by phone or sometimes interviews are done by computer. It, decides, it, it depends on the admission office within this university. It depends on the Song Kyung one university is up to them to decide how they want to provide it for you so your results you get them on the 9th of november then original documents only for accepted students will be requested in korea so your documents usually you need to apostolate them especially documents which are not from universities that are not you know widely recognized apostolate or you certify them with the korean embassy in your country this is a very important step korean embassy in your country has to legalize your documents so you call on them or email them or call and find out they're going to legalize your documents the reason is usually in the past this was not usually requested by most universities but right now universities in korea require you to certify your documents with the korean embassy within your country or the korean embassy in the jurisdiction of your country where you're going to require to certify them and if you do not do this your documents will not be accepted and sometimes it takes time it takes time so you have to do it as early as as possible also language requirements like i've said in most videos TOEFL or IELTS for programs done in English or topic for those that are going to study programs which are going to be offered in Korean. So you can prepare all these things and also I am mean, dropping videos here and there uh, preparing students on how to apply for admissions. So if you love this, make sure you like, subscribe, share, stay tuned until we do meet in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.